Hello, my name is Derek Baxter. I'm an app developer out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple animation using your Sprite Builder and Xcode. So let's take a look at what we're going to do here. So we're going to create a main screen. And then when you click onto the level screen, this will be level one. And this will be the animation here. So typically animations are used in your games where you want to add some sort of interactive uh, uh, gameplay, something that's other than um, just an object moving across the screen. So as you can see here, this is three frames, and here are the files that I'll be using. So this one is uh, Chief 1, Chief 2, and Chief 3, and this was taken from a game that we worked on in a game development camp here in Brokenhead, Manitoba. Canada. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is create a new project in Sprite Builder. I called mine Walking Man and I saved it to my desktop. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the Sprite Builder, go to your objects within Sprite Builder, drag a button, call that button level 1, and you're going to have to create a selector for that button. So I'm going to call this level one button and the two dots. Don't forget the colon there. So that's all I have to do on the main scene. And when I click on that, I want to load up a new scene. And that new scene will be, you guessed it, level one. And make it a scene and click create. So. I'll quickly add just a color node here and I'll drop it into the far corner. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll change the color to, well, this time I guess I'll use green. All right. Now the next thing you're going to do is drag your images. So there's three frames in this animation. So I'm just going to drag my three frames to sprite builder here there we go and as always you want to create a new folder and you want to just call it walking chief or whatever your animation is i'm going to drag these three items and then i'm going to create make a smart sprite sheet out of that and we know that the sp smart sprite sheet will save on the file size of your game that becomes pretty critical after a while as you're making more and more assets within your game. You don't want it to be huge, so take advantage of that early. All right, so let's take a look to see what we're doing. So this is level one here. So basically level one will run along a timeline, and we want to include walking there, and we want to loop that walking so there's a couple ways to do it, and I'll show you the easiest way for now, just so you can get a really good sense of what we're doing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the timeline duration, and a typical walking guy would be um, one second, maybe five frames. There we go, and as you can see, that our timeline is drastically shortened. So I'm going to grab my, grab my three uh, frames here. So I drag all three of them here to the CC node. And the first thing I'm going to do is on the first chief, I want the first chief to display. So I'm going to say up here in animation, there's a insert keyframe and it's visible. And the shortcut for that is V. Make the first chief visible up to a third. I'm going to press V on my keyboard as a shortcut, go to my second chief, hit V, which makes him visible, sorry, invisible, and then he's going to become invisible at the end. And the same thing for the third chief. So if I click play on my animation here, I'll see that it looks like he walks. All right, so the last thing you want to do is you don't want them just taking three steps and stopping. So you want to chain your timeline to the default timeline. That simply means that it's going to loop 
the default timeline is going to loop and it's going to look like this. So he's walking along there, that looks really cool. Now I will build this project, save all, and open project in Xcode. So here's the project here, go to my source. Now the last thing you want to do is, in the main scene, I included a button there. So if we go to the main scene in Sprite Builder, there's our button, and the selector for that button is level one button. So now my code is looking for a level one button. I'm just going to include the button code here, and that will take me to the level one scene. So I'm going to build my project. Xcode Simulator is going to load up. It's going to load up my button, and as you can see, the guy is walking. So that's how you make an animation using Sprite Builder and three simple frames, as well as the Sprite Builder timeline. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add background audio to this file. Thanks for watching. Like and share our YouTube video. Thank you very much.